god. Flow from. I'm gonna block that out because my vlog hasn't come out yet. Wanted to say hey. Jamie is off for a run this morning. We're hopping on a plane to head to a new destination. Obviously in the title you can see this video is about traveling with cancer. And I wasn't sure if I really even had anything to say about it yet, but I do. It's difficult. It's really tough. I don't know if you can really tell, like, but I'm kind of sunburned. My face is super red. I feel just swollen. Basically, the drugs that I'm on make my skin extremely sensitive and like if you saw the weather yesterday you would never expect to be sunburned Hello. and i did put on sunscreen but yeah i guess i just didn't reapply it enough so that sucks i guess the point of this video is that i'm having an awesome time but there's definitely some logistical challenges when you have cancer and you go out and travel. Number one is I'm a lot more tired than I would be at home. I want to keep up with what Jamie wants to do and I want to keep up with the things that I want to do but I also have to keep in mind that my body's compromised. I'm currently on treatment. You know things that make him tired make me 10 times more tired. So that's been a challenge. We walked a lot yesterday like 22,000 steps. <laughs> I yeah I hardly walk a kilometer at home so it's challenging to say the least and uh, that's something that you just have to keep in mind when you're traveling and you're on treatment. Number two is I am a walking pharmacy. <laughs> this is my drug bag here and then half of my other drugs are in my suitcase. I have all my treatment with me and then I just have like literally anything you can imagine that you need. You kind of always have to be prepared and traveling doesn't minimize the fact that my body is you know trying to fight this disease with the medication I'm given it kind of brings that fear into it because I think a lot of people who have cancer who want to go travel like there's so many like what ifs like what if this happens and I have to go to the hospital what if I need to get home there are so many different possibilities that it's hard not to think about them but at the same time you can't really live your life in a what if situation Last thing I'm going to touch on is like just a personal thing right now is because my hair is like really falling out like when I'm telling you I don't know if it looks bad in the camera I tried to like fix it it's really falling out so that's been really challenging to putting on hats and kind of covering it up other than that that's kind of what it's been like traveling with cancer and I don't think having cancer should deter you from traveling it makes it a little more complicated and it makes things it makes you have a little more fear about it but you should just do the things you want to do <laughs> if you want to go travel just go do it do it when you're able to i've been feeling pretty good the last couple months and i'm really proud of myself for being here and i'm proud of myself for doing it so i think that that's what's really important about it if you take anything out of this video is that i'm having a lot of fun i am having a lot of fun but there's also a lot of challenges involved that people don't get to see i was presented this big challenge with cancer and you know having to live my life with cancer and it's been really hard but I've been able to put my priorities in order and take hold of my life and and work with it and that's what I've been doing I'm excited to have you guys see my vlog here in this destination I'm currently in if you're watching this thank you uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos if you don't that's cool I'll see you guys on Tuesday